Ladies, I want to talk to you today about a pet hate of mine. And I'm not talking about tortoises. Now, I do like tortoises, but I'm not talking about pets. I'm talking about a pet hate. I'm Anne-Marie, welcome to my channel. And I do videos on fashion and style. And my passion is to make the over 50 woman relevant and out there representing our over 50 womanhood with style. Okay. A clothing pet hate. And it's this. By the way, can I have a bonus point for this image? Because I had to create it myself. I took a top, photo of a top, a top, a photo of a bottom, and put them together on some sort of graphic media that I've never used before. And I need, uh, ignore the fact she's not got elbows. Let's just pretend she has. Bonus points for me as an old, nearly 60 woman to actually tackle something like this and generate it. Yes, extra points, extra thumbs up for that, please. For some reason, this seems to be a uniform, maybe. I've noticed this. I've noticed it locally, I've noticed this outfit where I was, when I was on holiday recently as well, women wearing this outfit, and it seems to be a uniform. And to my mind, it's a uniform that really doesn't work. And I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, you have two skinny items together in this image, in this outfit. A skinny top, a skinny bottom. Number two, untucked, you've also got a bottom, and a top, pretty well equal length. Number three, the top finishes at the widest part of the hips. And number four, the capris finish at the widest part of the calf. And remember, those of us who are petite, five foot two-ish and under, shorter pants as well, shorter trousers are, are gonna make us look shorter and dumpier, aren't they? You know, we need to elongate our Elongate our body, the small body that we have. Elongate it and can pre pants or any trouser that is going to crop us off mid calf is going to shorten us. I think, as representatives of over 50 womankind, we can do better than this. So, let's see how we can change this up a bit, shall we? So, what can we do to change this up? Right, very simply, the first thing we can do, and it is entirely free entirely free, cost us nothing to do this, representatives of womankind over 50. It is to front tuck. Just simply tuck the t-shirt into the trousers. You get then, you solve the proportion problem because you're actually shortening the top part. So it's now a third, two thirds or closer to a third, two thirds, which is the ideal outfit formula, mathematical outfit formula, by the way. And it also, removes the bottom, the horizontal line, the finish, the hem, from the widest part of your hips. It moves it up here. Two problems solved, very simply, by tucking in. And if you don't like the front tuck, just do an all round tuck. But by tucking in, there is another thing we can do. You see, when we're tucking in, we can also pull it out a bit, make it baggier, which also then, then solves another issue and that is it makes this a little bit looser so we've got more of a looser top with a skinny caprice give it a bit of vumph and a bit of width and a bit of air here we're actually solving three problems the hips the proportion and the skinniness of the two items but what else can we do but ladies what else can we do well should we be wearing capris anyway now? I mean, it, there's a sh shape of trouser that's actually getting a little bit... Um, dated, maybe. And maybe we, should, we could just ditch the capris. But we may, be, may not want to just go too wild. So how about a pair of skinny jeans? Now, I know they are on their way out, but they haven't gone. So if you've got skinny jeans, you've got white skinny jeans instead of white capris. Well... How does this help? It actually creates another, a, a, an even more extreme third to third. You've got a better proportion of top to bottom. And it removes that horizontal line and the emphasis around the widest part of the calf. Because now you have got the hem at the slim part of your leg, just above the ankle or around ankle length. Done deal. Again, 
if you have skinny trousers and skinny jeans, it didn't cost you anything. And I'm sure you have, because where would you have been? You, where have you been if you haven't? I mean, you know, they've, they've been around for over 10 years now. So you've got skinny jeans in your closet. So if you're enjoying this, I'm told this works. This helps me, helps me reach a wider audience and then grow my channel and do more videos. So there you go. Back to the topic in hand. Maybe, maybe we should be going for some wider trousers instead. So keep the t-shirt. Let's have a look and see if we can actually create a different look and just vump the capris. Well, let's face it, you're wearing the capris because it's early autumn or it's spring or a cold stay in the summer and you want to look a bit summery. So I would swap them out for another equivalent casual summer trouser and it could be chinos or it could be cargo pants. So I'm showing you here cargo pants because you've got then the loose style of the trouser the tight t-shirt, you can tuck it in, you've got the third two-thirds, you've got rid of the horizontal line around your hips and you've got rid of the horizontal line around your calf. To modern it up a bit more, some sneakers or trainers. Black with a white edge or white, both equally a modern look. And the trainers or sneakers meet our needs to when we are out and about for our walking. They're comfort shoes but they're fashionable and stylish as well. And youthful. So you can see that with my cargo pants, I've turned them up slightly, but just at the top of the ankle. It elongates, it emphasizes a slimmer part of my leg than say a, a capri that's cutting you off mid-calf and emphasizing that widest part. Much more flattering. But how about we keep the capris or the skinny jeans and just swap out the top. So let's try a blouse. Now, firstly, a loose blouse, hanging loose, over the capris, solves two problems. It solves the tight with the tight, so now you've got loose with the tight, loose top, tight bottom, and two, it's less emphasis around that wide area of your hips because it's loose around there. And if you do a front tuck, you can create a lot more of that looseness and create more volume to create a, a wider, looser top compared to the tight bottom and create a better proportion, third, two thirds, by tucking in that loose blouse. So the loose blouse with the capris is much better than this with the capris, in my humble and amateur opinion. And if we try it again, then with skinny jeans instead of the capris, ditch the capris, use skinny jeans because you're still loving those. It aces it up a little bit more because you've got another more emphasized third two thirds, top to bottom. You're front tucking, you're creating volume on top where you've got a skinny bottom. If you've enjoyed this video, you will probably enjoy this. In the meantime, I'll see you in another outfit and you go out there and represent over 50 women in a stylish way.